Integra has been rushing around the circuits of Europe, breaking as many class lap records as it can, anywhere from Spa Francorchamps to Silverstone, which proves... Well, not a lot, really. But it's been a great publicity stunt for the first of Honda's Type R series to reach the shores of Europe. What really matters, though, is what this, the road-going version, is like. And the secret to its success lies under the bonnet. This is Honda's latest version of their famous VTEC engines. Now, what VTEC stands for is Variable Valve Timing Electronically Controlled, or something like that, and other manufacturers do do it but only Honda produce an engine that actually changes the cam profile. Now, what this, in effect, does is to give you two different engines. Below 5,800 revs, you've got a 130-horsepower shopping engine. Above 5,800 revs, you've got a rocket ship with 190 horsepower. You see, what it does is you go over 5.8, the cam profile... No, forget it. I'll show you what it does. <laughs> Five thousand revs, thirty-five miles an hour. Second gear. We're going shopping. Open the throttle. Hear that engine change, and we're going to the moon. Third gear. Eight and a half thousand revs, eighty miles an hour. The acceleration just goes on and on, and this is only a one-point-eight-litre engine. In fact, the only real big disappointment with this Integra, especially as it's a Type R, is that it hasn't got the more fashionable six-speed gearbox. In fact, 70 miles an hour, fifth gear is 4,000 revs, which can be rather tiresome on a long motorway cruise. But this car isn't for motorway cruising, it's for mean streets cruising. 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds with the rev counter reading 6,200 in third. It won't quite outdrag competition like the Fiat Coupe, but that relies on two litres and a turbocharger. But it's not just the engine that impresses because there's handling to match. This car almost redefines front wheel drive grip. Gone are the old days of torque steer. This just grips and goes. There's no tugging through the steering wheel, it doesn't spoil your driving enjoyment. This almost feels like a rear-wheel drive car, but it's got the grip as well. Third gear, turn in. Oh. <sighs> but such performance must have good brakes, and this Integra has got... NSX discs and superb ABS. On sale at the end of the year, only a few hundred are due to be imported and they'll all be white and cost around 23 grand. Of course, it is a shame that the styling isn't a bit more exciting, that the dashboard isn't a bit more imaginative, that you get a kiddies clock that seems to read 1888 all the time and that some marketing twonk has taken out the air conditioning and the radio. But you do get two gorgeous red Recaro seats and it's a blitz to drive. I just can't wait to try the Civic Type R, the Prelude Type R, the Accord Type R. Ah, yes, and the NSX Type R.